Hey, how's it going? Dave Tudy here. In front of me are two laptops from Chinese companies, and these are devices that I've had for a while, but I've never, I've never been comfortable making videos and openly recommending them because of one big issue. It's the customer service. Like if anything breaks or if anything goes wrong with a device from like Huawei or Xiaomi, that process to get it repaired or replaced or re-anything is very difficult. I've experienced it firsthand. I've seen it happen to my friends and it's just like, when it comes to recommending products to my audience, I, I wanna make sure that if something goes wrong, it can, for the most part, be resolved. But the reason why I'm making this video today is because both of these devices are now available in North America from North American outlets. So the Huawei Mate Pro X is a device that you can get from Amazon. It goes for 1200 bucks, I think. And the Xiaomi Mi Notebook 13, these names are amazing, but the Xiaomi laptop 13 inch one is available from Newegg for 900, I believe. Uh, but there's like a special offer where you can get like a discount or something like that. But Newegg, 900 for this one, Amazon, 1200 for this one. So both of these have the MX150 graphics card and a eighth gen four core CPU, the i5. And they're both very similar in performance, but there are some important differences between them, which would explain why the Xiaomi is like $300 cheaper than the Huawei. So I'm gonna talk about this one first, the $1,200 MateBook Pro X. It has the best build quality of the two. It's really, really well built. It's clearly modeled after Apple hardware, but maybe also some Asus ZenBook hardware. Great finish, very nice machining with no sharp edges around the device. It has a fantastic display. It's really really bright, it's big, it's got respectable color gamut, thin bezeled, it's really the main attraction of the Matebook. Uh, the battery life is also pretty good, it's a 57 watt hour battery, and there's also some nice features, like inside you get the fingerprint sensor on the power button, it's actually a really nice location, and you also have a great keyboard layout. It's comfortable to type on, very similar in feel to the 2015 or earlier MacBooks, it's a great keyboard. Now there are some negatives, the speakers, they're, I mean they sound good, up to a certain volume. Like the moment you hit like 50, 60%, this whole thing starts to vibrate and buzz, which I don't think it's like a unit, like I don't think it's my unit. I've experienced this on other devices as well. I don't know why they even built it like this. Like you should just cap that volume at 50% or somehow fix the internals because that vibration can get a little bit annoying. The pop-up webcam is really cool, but it shoots from a terrible angle. It's actually one of the worst I've seen. I also don't love the trackpad. It uses Windows Precision drivers, but the tracking isn't perfect, and sometimes it doesn't detect the gestures, which is a little bit annoying. But overall, the MateBook Pro X is a really solid device for the money. Okay, moving on to this device, the Xiaomi Air 13 laptop, or the Mi Notebook 13, depending on where you purchase it from. The best feature about this device is the price tag. I know it's weird to call price a feature, but this is one of the best values you can get for the MX150 8th gen CPU 13 inch laptop. It's just really well priced. The build quality is good. It's not as well built as the Huawei. The finish isn't as well done and there are some sharper edges on the bottom panel, but it's still good. I also like the fact that the top panel has no branding. A lot of devices out there, including the Huawei, have a logo and sometimes a company name. This is just a naked panel and I like that. It's simple and it looks clean. Uh, the screen is also nice. It's not as bright or as big as the Huawei device, but it's still a very respectable 13.3 inch screen. The touchpad is also good. It's using Windows Precision Drivers again, but for whatever reason, I'm getting better tracking and better gesture detection on this device than I am with this device. A few things I don't like about this thing though, start off right near the trackpad, it's the fingerprint sensor right at the top of that thing. It just gets in the way. I don't feel like it's a good position. Like sometimes you'll touch it while you're using the trackpad and the keyboard is okay, like it's a good layout, but the keys are a little bit softer on the stroke than I'd like. I think the typing experience is better on the Matebook than it is on the Xiaomi product. Uh, other things I don't like, the speakers, they're pretty weak and under really heavy loads, it can throttle. Not a ton, and certainly not regularly. Most usage, you'd never notice it, but if you're running some CPU intensive stuff for extended periods of time, then yeah, this unit can throttle. So that's basically it. Both of these units are available in North American retailers now. I wouldn't consider one or the other to be like the obvious choice. They're quite different in price and obviously quite different in product category. Like this is a very premium version. This is a less premium version, but it's significantly cheaper. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if you're interested in purchasing these devices, understand that if you purchase from a North American outlet like Newegg or Amazon, the pricing is a little bit more expensive than it was if you'd purchased this thing directly from China. You get the peace of mind and the, all the customer support and service that comes from purchasing here. But if you want the absolute best value, like the cheapest price possible, I'd still purchase it in Asia. Just be prepared to not have any service should anything go wrong. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. See you guys next time.